Hi, my dear spirited minds. Hope you all are doing great. Dear friends, today I'd like to share with you one inspiring poem named Don't Quit. Dear friends, the poem Don't Quit is written by John Ralph Whittier. And some others say that this was written by Edgar Albert Guest. So, both have been attributed to this. Exactly, you don't know. But the poem is a very, very inspiring one and thought-provoking one. Let us look into the poem once, friends. Don't quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Often the goal it sees, sorry, often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late when the night slid down. How close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out. Listen, my dear friends. Success is failure turned inside out. The silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when you are hardest hit. So stick to the fight when you are hardest hit. It's when things seem worst that you must not quit. Dear friends, we all have our own shades of failures, challenges, and sometimes we want to give up on our dreams. And that is most painful thing in our life friends because giving up on our dreams and goals is more painful than ever any other pain because that will be haunting us in the later parts of as we will be leaving so whatever the opportunities we have lost it will be haunting us throughout our life you might have been familiar that our own parents your friends would have, uh, say to you that had I would have used that opportunity, now my position would have not been like this. In this present pandemic period also, many of us will be thinking about that. Unfortunately, we missed those opportunities. Have we would have been careful enough before. Now we will not be facing the problems right now. So the main theme, what this poem suggests is that we shouldn't give up. Let's look at the poem at, once again, friends, in detail. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you are trudging seems all uphill, it is inevitable. In all of our lives, sometimes whatever we expect, that will not happen. Then, when the funds are low and debts are high, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. So, we all, at one point or other, we might have experienced this situation, friends. Now money will be less and we will not be having sufficient money. Then we want to smile, but it's very difficult to smile, to keep in a cheering mood. And you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest you must, but don't you quit. When we are facing all these problems, when the things are not happening as we wish, and difficulties are looming large on our face, then sometimes we'll think to give up. But what the poet says, when care is pressing you down a bit, when the pressures are there more, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Why? In the later part he'll say, life is queer with its twists and turns. Life is queer with its twists and turns as every one of us sometimes learns. Remember friends, in your own life, you might have heard, you might have experienced in your own personal life that 
in the past, had you have taken that step, maybe in the academics, maybe in the office, maybe in the life, now you will not be facing the problem right now, what you are facing. Even our parents will be telling us that had we have used those uh, golden opportunities, now we will not be facing the problems like that. So that, because life, when it takes a positive turn, when it takes a negative turn, we couldn't expect it. What we all can do is that we can strengthen ourselves and we can, we'll be ready to face. We need to be, uh, face the challenges of life at any given time. Whenever the life faces throws challenges at, we need to face them in a confident way. Life is we have with twists and turns as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about, and many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Sometimes, that's what. Sometimes had to have, after, for example, after giving an examination, maybe it academic examination or competitive examination. We we'll think that after the results comes, when we we'll, uh, lose that competition, when we we'll think that had we have focused more, now we would have been in a successful position. That we we'll think that. Don't give up though the pace seems slow. When the things are going, slow pace, don't no matter. Because at least you are moving in a positive way, slow pace. Things are going in a slow pace than the expected one. But don't give up. Don't give up though the pace seems slow. You may succeed with another blow. Maybe with the next blow, next opportune time, you will be achieving your own success. And you will that success will transform your own life. Often the goal is nearer than. It seems to be a faint and faltering manner. Remember friends, often the goal is nearer than it seems to be a faint and faltering manner. Suppose if you are, because when you are facing challenges, what happens is that we lose our own positivity. And then we think that, then we think that in such a way that it will, it is not possible to achieve the goal. It is not possible to overcome the obstacles. Then, what we need to do? Often the goal is nearer than, it seems to be a faint and false in mind. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. Had you have stuck to the goal, had you have struggled for a little longer, he will hold the victor's cup. That is, he will achieve the target. He will overcome all the obstacles and achieve success and uh, will be a successful person. When he might have captured the victor's cup and he learned too late when the night slipped down, the opportunity is gone, time passed away. Then he realized, had I would have struggled a little longer, I have given my bit a little longer, my life would have been in a positive way, successful way. And he learned too late when he might, when the night slid down, how close he was to the golden crown. How close. See, all the lost opportunities will weigh us down, friends. So, whatever happened until now, forget about that and start afresh. And whatever goals you are facing, uh, you are chasing right now, Chase them by giving your 100% and never ever give up and don't quit on your goals and dreams, friends. Now, the last answer says, success, this is my favorite one, success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. Now, while chasing our dreams, goals, it is inevitable we will face failures. Now, what we need to do that, from failure to the next failure or next to the failure, so it will be keep on coming. Then, what we will do, what we need to do, we need to learn from the failures. In fact, we need to transform those failures as our fertilizers for the future success. The failure, in fact, more than the success, failure is the greatest teacher. It says, it points us where we lacked, why we lost. It exposes our weaknesses and then what we need to do that we need to focus on our weaknesses and then we need to strengthen our strengths and weaken our weaknesses so that when the next attempt we will do that we may definitely achieve success in our life success is failure turned inside out the silver tint of the clouds of doubt 
and you never can tell how close you are. You don't know. You may be very closer to the success. You know? And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. That is ultimately your mindset, friends. You may think it is not possible, it's very difficult to achieve success, but maybe next step, the next opportune time, you will achieve success. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So, stick to the fight when you are hardest hit. So, stick to the fight when you are hardest hit. It's when things seem worst that you must not quit. So friends, don't quit on your dreams. I wish you great success in all your endeavors. This is Durga Ramunda signing off. Thank you.